Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 1 of Minecraft Hardcore Season 4, I believe. We've had some pretty rough luck with Hardcore in the past. My first three seasons, we died because of creeper explosions. And so my first priority in this let's play is just to get myself a shield and some armor to protect myself. And then in season four, we lost our world because I uploaded the world into a new snapshot and then I accidentally joined the world in an old snapshot and messed some things up and I really couldn't play the world. And so my second priority is just to make backups of the world. But regardless, here we are in a fresh world. I haven't really done anything. I just spawned in. Seems like a really interesting spawn though. We have a whole huge large desert area over here. I wonder if there's any desert temples. I see a little tiny thing in the distance there, but I don't think that's anything that matters. And then we have the savanna biome here. So two very fun biomes. Let's see what else. Oh, we have a mesa biome and a village. Okay. <laughs> this start might be a little easier than I thought. I'll also, for the people curious, I will put the seed in the description down below because I know whenever I start a new Let's Play, a lot of people really want to play along with me. Now, this survival hardcore Let's Play is not going to interfere with any of my other Let's Plays on my channel. This is just something I wanted to do because people have wanted hardcore again for a while, and so I figured I would do it. I really like doing hardcore series. We end up just having bad luck every now and then. But let's check out this village. Let's see if we can maybe raid it and get some good loot. If not, we can maybe use this village as our first house. One of these houses could be our first house. And also, it's pretty nice because we have these hay blocks everywhere, which we can turn into wheat and get tons of food. So it seems like we're pretty all right on food. Food is one of my big issues in hardcore let's plays especially in the beginning because once you start losing hearts the only way to regain hearts is if you have food and usually in the start of let's plays i don't have a lot of food so i'm just gonna grab literally everything i can from these chests even if it's not really good let's ring the bell see if there's anything nope sometimes when you're in a village the bell will ring and you'll see little green particles if there's green particles around that's good luck, because that means that there's a stronghold right under. But oh my gosh, this is an amazing spawn. We have two little cave areas right here. I already see iron. We have some lava. We have melons. We have wheat. We have tons of houses. This is one of the best spawns in any world I've ever gotten. And this is a hardcore world, so I feel like hopefully that's a good luck sign. Hopefully this will be a series that we can keep for a long time. I'd obviously like to keep doing this world as long as I can. I just don't know how long that's going to be because hardcore series really just depend on how long I can stay alive as I fall into the lava. No. I hate myself. Gosh, my heart is pounding. That was terrifying. I really thought I was going to have to end this series like three minutes into the first video. Thankfully, we're all right. That's why I have to be careful about hardcore. When I play normal survival, I'm already a very reckless player. And so hardcore just sometimes doesn't work out the best for me because I'm just not careful. So I have to make sure that this time I'm super careful. I need to watch every step. I need to watch every move I make and be super careful, especially when I'm around lava. I don't know why I wasn't more careful. For now, let's just take the crafting table. I guess I'll also take a bed just in case I make my own house. I have a feeling though, I'm probably just going to be staying in one of these village houses. It makes things a lot easier. Um, but this is also a great spawn because we have a mesa biome and what's great about mesa biomes Okay, and we have another village But what's great about mesa biomes is when you strip mine in mesa biomes or if you find an abandoned mine shaft You can easily find tons and tons of gold Which is going to be great for making golden apples now. I will go back to that village eventually I'll grab all of the melons and all of the wheat so we can get tons of food But I just want to raid this village pretty quickly. I didn't know this village was gonna be here. Hopefully there's more villages nearby. That'd be pretty good luck, but I don't know. This is a great start. I mean, there might be more desert villages. This is a huge desert biome. There might also be a desert temple nearby. Maybe it'd be pretty cool if what we could do in the future, make our base somewhere around here and somehow connect to these two villages. Just make a giant kingdom with, you know, villagers from multiple different biomes all living in one place. I think that'd be really cool, but having a desert village, I'm not often, you know, in desert villages. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll try to make a desert village starter house or something like that. Okay, but there we go. We have some obsidian. That's pretty nice because this is 1.16.1, the nether update. And so hopefully we can head to the nether pretty soon. This is one of those fancy desert villages. I really like what they did in 1.14 with villages. They did a great job. 
And thankfully, okay, let's see. I don't see anything else. There's just more savanna biome over there. Pretty big desert biome, but I have my render distance set to like 20 something chunks and I'm still getting a ton of FPS. 1.16.1 Optifine usually doesn't, like Optifine usually doesn't run this smooth when it first comes out, but uh, the Optifine creator is definitely doing a good job. Oh, and there we go. Get all that cactus and get all that bread. <laughs> Let's eat the bread really fast. What I think I'll do though is head back to the savanna biome kind of set up camp the reason i'm gonna head over there is because there's a lot more trees and water nearby which is you know some of the resources i need there were also some mines so we can do some of that but maybe after we do that come back here and eventually get the rest of the hay and stuff i think it'll just be better if i maybe get some shears or a hoe first actually a hoe in 1.16 is the official block for breaking hay but thankfully we should probably get a few stacks of bread from all this hay lying around so we should definitely be set on food for at least the first few episodes until we get ourselves a pretty big farm started all right it's turning night time but thankfully <laughs> we have all the beds so we can just easily sleep and make it daytime now i think we're gonna be pretty set here because i can just get a stone pickaxe and then there's iron and i can get an iron one but i was checking out that village is actually really close. I didn't even realize how close it was. And another great part about this location is there's tons of animals around. I see tons of pigs, tons of sheep, and we actually have pretty much an already pre-made cow farm. And we can just take the tons of wheat we're going to have anyways and start breeding the cows and make baby cows. So this is probably one of the best starts I've ever had in a Let's Play. Now. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to push my luck and I'm not going to get too cocky because I don't want to start going all crazy and then I end up dying or something like this because skeletons are hard to beat. I'm going to have to be careful. I really have to try not to die. Okay, yep, that's where I run away <laughs> because the skeleton's going to kill me. Let's eat some food. Maybe I can make a sword really fast. I'm not sure. I just want to try to get some of that cobblestone. Let's try to maybe grab some of this really fast. I usually don't make a sword until I have iron. But maybe it'll be beneficial to make myself a stone sword. Just because this is hardcore Minecraft. If I do run into any mobs, I want to play it safe. But we should be pretty safe for the most part. Because like I said, we have a bed. We can just switch it to daytime anytime it's night. And around here I actually feel pretty safe. Because we have a decent amount of iron golems. And I feel like they'll hopefully help keep us pretty safe. But let's grab our sword. We can also grab ourselves a pickaxe. And then now we should be able to safely head down into this mine kill this skeleton that wooden pickaxe just really wasn't doing enough damage <sighs> kind of nervous but i think we can do this let's head down i wonder when we're also going to get the combat update for minecraft i'm really hoping 1.17 is a cave update that's what a lot of people are speculating it's going to be i i personally feel like it's going to be a cave update just because mojang does a pretty good job listening to their community and they know everyone's expecting a cave update and i think they know that if they don't give people a cave update people are going to get really mad <laughs> but we've had combat update snapshots for about a year and a half now we started getting them around the release of 1.14 because they're going to make java combat more similar to how it was pre 1.9 when they changed all combat it's going to be very similar to how combat works on bedrock versions where you can swing your sword as fast as you want but your clicks per second really doesn't determine how much damage you do because it only you know it has a certain cap it has a limit as to how fast you can go but let's grab all this coal this is going to be nice we can smelt the iron also make tons of torches what i'll probably try to do is light up around the village just to kind of keep it safe um <laughs> because even though we have a bed and we can you know sleep when it's nighttime it'll still be nice in case we ever leave the village come back i'd prefer there not be a creeper or something about to sneak up on me because that's the mob that always kills me in hardcore it's always creepers like i said at the beginning of the episode actually let's grab this iron really fast before we head down there the thing about creepers is even if i have enchanted diamond armor this is how i died one time i had protection to diamond armor i even had blast protection on one of the pieces i had a shield in my inventory but a creeper blew up right on top of me and when a creeper blows up right on top of you that's when it does the most damage if it blows up a few blocks away you can usually survive but on hardcore it does so much damage and it will instantly kill you 
The only way to really not die from that is to make sure you have a shield, make sure you have blast protection, and honestly just kind of pray and hope for the best because creepers are deadly. Especially if it's storming and you get one of those supercharged creepers. There's really no way you're going to survive that uh, unless you have literally amazing armor. So <laughs> I would just say be careful. This is definitely a really good start though. We have two more veins of iron. We only need 24 uh, iron ore to make a full set of armor and then we just need a few pieces to make ourselves maybe like a sword a pickaxe an axe I'll probably make a shovel and a hoe out of stone now normally I don't make hoes but in 1.16 hoes are a lot more valuable they're used for breaking a lot of blocks they're used for kelp blocks a lot of the new nether blocks they're used for hay like I said they're used for target blocks they're used for so much they're also used to break leaves however you don't get leaves when you use them to break the leaf it just breaks them really fast but they're super useful now and so i feel like it's just going to become more regular for people to keep hoes in their inventory like typically people just have a sword a pickaxe an axe a shovel maybe a bow and arrow or something like that but hoes are definitely going to become more valuable let's check down here do we see anything else does this just bring us to a bigger cave i don't want to explore oh okay we have a giant ravine i don't see any diamonds down there but <laughs> that's good for us I don't want to explore too much of this cave because I want to grab some more resources first. I also want to make a bit of iron armor before I explore just to keep myself safe. I should be pretty safe against zombies and skeletons. Again, like I said, my main scare is just that I'm really worried about a creeper like coming up right behind me and blowing me up. So that's the main thing I'm worried about. Let's grab this really fast though. I think what will be best for me? I have a sword. Let's make ourselves a pickaxe, and then let's see. I'll have four left. Honestly, I'm just going to spend it on boots now. I know iron boots don't get a, a ton of armor, but it's a little bit. It still helps. I have some pickaxes I don't need. Let's just throw them down. And then I also have some more iron to smelt. So let's smelt that really fast and also make ourselves some torches. All right, so we got ourselves some armor and tools. I also grabbed some more melons and hay while this all was smelting, and... uh yeah we <laughs> definitely have enough food to last us a long time let's just turn this all into bread really fast i don't even know if i should take this all with with me because my inventory is going to be pretty full actually let's do this let's turn our wood into planks let's make ourselves just a little chest for now i'll just leave it down here have this be our little storage area because we definitely have more than enough food let's just let's take a whole stack of bread with us whatever who cares also Turn some melon into melon seeds. Maybe we can grow some melons in the future. And then I also have a decent amount of torches. But let's bring some coal and wood with us just in case. I'll also bring... Let's just bring these two bad boys just to have it with us. But let's do a little bit of mining. And then what we can do is head back into the village in a little bit. And explore around. See what there is for us. And check it out. Also, before I head too far, let me just quickly write down my coordinates in chat so i know where i am and where i need to go to get back up just in case i travel really far from this location and i need to find my way back that's what i usually do people always ask me in my comments they're like how do you travel thousands of blocks away and know how to get back but i just write down the coordinates of my base after a few times of writing them down in chat or maybe some people use a coordinate book i usually just typically memorize the coordinates of my base you can also use the new lodestone in 1.16 which you can click it with a compass and whenever you look at the compass in your inventory the compass will always point at the lodestone instead of pointing north so you can use that to find locations maybe name a particular compass after your base or a certain landmark that you want to find in your world and it's pretty simple but yeah we have way more than enough iron now we'll be fine for multiple stacks of armor and uh, not multiple stacks multiple sets and tons of tools there's not many other uses for iron in hardcore besides that though i mean iron has many many uses don't get me wrong but uh when it comes to hardcore there's not too much what i'm gonna do now though is let's actually place this down let's smelt just a few iron before we head any deeper i want to make myself a bucket and put some water in there just in case i, I want to keep it safe there's a lot of lava around here and so i want to be extra sneaky but there are some creepers i have to be careful there are some witches and so i want to be extra safe around here i can also make myself oh let's also make myself a shield i never make a shield so i guess it's probably time to do that people are probably yelling at me for not making one earlier i really just don't typically think about making a shield 
because in normal survival i don't use shields at all and then when it comes to hardcore i want to use shields i always end up not using them though because they take up so much space on your screen and they're just kind of annoying i wonder if i can actually get a texture pack that makes the shield texture smaller so it takes up less space on your screen i'm sure that's a thing i've probably just you know been lazy and haven't really looked for it but let's grab the rest of this iron after these two veins honestly i'm not going to grab any more iron because i probably won't need any more for a long time i mean i'll have multiple sets of armor i'll have enough tools and weapons you know i'll have multiple pickaxes and by that time I'll hopefully find diamonds pretty soon so i don't think i really need more armor or more iron so i think i'll be all set let's head down here make myself a shield really fast oh just enough i think it's five iron what do i do oh no it's only one iron you need five wood all right there we go let's place that shield down keep the torches in the inventory and then head down to this scary place i also have my bucket here so let's actually climb up this stack of water and do this now i did see some creepers so i'll make sure to be extra careful let's just start lighting up this area as much as we can because i don't want any extra mob spawning what's our y level like we're at y30 right now a little bit too high to really have diamond spawn but we should still maybe be able to find some rare items if we head a little bit deeper and oh there we go i saw some diamonds in the corner now we're low enough to find diamonds but this is a pretty big cave this cave is giant there could potentially be more diamonds around here. Don't worry, I am going to go back and grab those diamonds. I just like exploring around an entire cave slash area before I really start mining stuff. Just to scout it out and also to make sure I light up most of the area so mobs don't start spawning uh, right as I start mining. And then there's a bunch of creepers behind me trying to kill me. It's always the worst part. I've had that happen to me many times. So I'm just trying to be extra case safe, scout out the area, make sure there's nothing bad. Especially make sure there's no mob spawners or anything like that, because those are also dangerous. Oh, come on, zombies. Ugh, there we go. Let's eat some bread. There's more zombies over here. Okay, I see some more obsidian. We can use our diamond pickaxe that we're going to make to grab some. I'll probably head to the nether pretty soon. Like I was saying, I mean, again, this is the nether update, so I want to do a lot of nether exploring. I want to be very safe. I really don't want this creeper. Okay. Don't see any more diamonds, but let's explore the rest of this ravine really fast. I will go back and get those diamonds from before, I promise. I just want to scout out this whole area. It doesn't look like there's going to be more diamonds over here, though. But I have to be very careful. I want to head to the nether pretty early because you can get great loot in the nether. But I also can't head to the nether too early just because the nether is a lot scarier now and it's a lot harder. Previously, you could walk through the nether no problem. You really only had to worry about ghasts, but now you have piglins to worry about. Even if you're wearing gold armor, you have piglin brutes, you have ghasts, you have soul sand valleys where there's tons of endermen spawning all over the place. So you definitely have to keep it very safe. So I'll probably go, I'd say once I get maybe a light set of enchanted diamond armor. By that, I just mean like some lightly enchanted diamond armor. My first set of diamond armor, I usually just enchant to get like you know protection one or protection two and then after that i start to work on my true set of diamond armor that i get you know all the best enchantments on so i'll probably head to the nether after i get one set of good armor i'll probably also make myself some gold boots and enchant those pretty well just so we have some gold armor so that piglins don't attack us but let's light up this whole area i still just want to check out the rest of this cave before i grab those diamonds and see if there's potentially any more diamonds because it'd be really nice if there was more than just one vein but even if we only get one vein i'll still take it i'll take some diamonds over none any day let's also get rid of this skeleton boy i'm sorry man your time has come all right let's eat some food really fast and then i think we should be pretty much all clear to grab the diamonds let's see hopefully there's more than just two but even if there's two Ah, uh, whatever. I'm still fine with it. Maybe we can make ourselves a diamond sword. That'll be nice. The fact that we still got diamonds on the first episode, though, <laughs> is pretty good. That usually doesn't happen. All right, we're back to the overworld. I grabbed most of the stuff from my chest. I'm just going to leave a few things in here <laughs> because I can't really carry everything. But let's head back up to the overworld and scout out the village houses and see which one is... Oh, okay, nope. See which one is the one for me. I think what I actually want to do... I think I want to head to the desert village because there were some pretty fun houses in there and I've never really messed around with a desert village. I think what might be pretty cool is if we take some time 
and maybe try to revamp the desert village a bit, maybe remake some of the houses, remake some of the roads, and make it look just a little bit better. I mean, the desert village doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look great. You know what I mean? It looks a lot better than it did in the past, definitely. But uh, looking at it, it's not amazing. Let's see if there's any pretty decent-sized houses I can take over, though. If not, what I'll probably do is just head back to the other village. Let's check it out. We have this big tower house here. That might be nice. Or I could use multiple houses, I guess. I could sleep in one, use one as a sort of storage house or something like that. We also have all this wheat here, which we can break fast with our hoe. Oh, wait, the inventory is full. Um, let's check it out. This house is pretty nice. I like these, like, two-layer houses. Except they're, they are pretty, pretty small and kind of awkward. Maybe that's not the best house for me. What else would be good? I'm fine with just a little house. As long as I have enough room for a bed and a chest, I'll pretty much be set. I don't need a lot of room. I can live in a tiny house. Something like this would be fine. What about this tower house? What's in here? Is it just a... Oh, is it just a giant staircase to the top? Is that all it is? Oh, there's a chest up here. More bread, wheat, more emeralds. All right, I'll take it. And, oh, we have a little scout tower up here. Hmm, I'm curious. If I set my render distance up to like 64 let's do that i'm curious to see let's load in some stuff see if we see anything else in the distance probably not i mean it's rare that there's a bunch of villages really close to each other in the first place but let's see we have the savannah biome we have this giant <laughs> desert biome this thing is massive i don't see any desert temples though or any more villages would be pretty cool if we could find some stuff we might have to explore the desert a bit more but I'm still glad we got the spawn we did. I'm not going to complain. It's still really nice. And I'm definitely excited to do some strip mining in the Mesa biome. Because we can hopefully get tons and tons of gold. But let's just head down here. Decide one of these houses to settle in. I think what I'm going to do. I think I am going to head back to the Savannah biome. Maybe revamping slash redesigning this desert village. Will be more of a side project I work on in the future. Because I think it would be pretty fun. I also think what might be a cool build project, and I've been wanting to do this for a while, is to sort of take a desert village and then around it, turn it into a sort of ancient Egypt build. I think that'd be really cool, especially if there's a desert temple nearby, that'll even make it even better. But build, you know, like pyramids, build houses, all that stuff, I think that'd be definitely really cool. Maybe we can even make our main survival base just a giant desert pyramid. I think that'd be a really awesome build. Let's just settle in one of these houses. Let's also breed these cows a bit. Have this cow farm going on. Maybe even, uh, you know, make an automatic cow cooker in the future. This is a pretty nice house. This one seems pretty big. I feel like when I've taken control of these village houses before in Savannah biomes, I usually use this. So let's just use this one. Let's hollow it out a bit. I'm sorry, villager. You're going to have to... Uh, no one sees this. It's okay. It's okay. Iron Golems didn't see it. No one has to know about it. But let's just place crafting table there. We have our bed. We'll put our furnace. And then right next to this ch double chest, we will make another chest. And there we go. There's our storage. We can head back into the mine, grab our other stuff. And we're doing pretty well for ourselves. We have two diamonds so far. So let's actually make ourselves a diamond sword. And then let's also start smelting this iron to get myself a full set of iron armor and also some more iron tools probably like a shovel maybe even an iron hoe uh definitely some more iron pickaxes but for the sword we have a good old diamond let's head back into the mining grab it i can't believe we have a diamond sword on the first episode that is insane we have had uh, i hope people aren't gonna think i'm cheating whenever i have a good spawn people always think i'm cheating or specifically look for a seed but i'm not I'll put the seed in the description. You guys can use this seed for yourself. Also in the description, I have awesome, all my uh, social media links. So definitely check those out if you guys want to. But let's plop all of our stuff in there. And there we go. We're pretty much set. But anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this one. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more of this series, if you enjoyed this episode, or just want to support the channel in general, definitely consider subscribing and liking the video. I really appreciate you guys for watching. I can already tell this is going to be a great and super fun series because we're having amazing luck. But anyways, this is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next one.